I'm so put together. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie. Um, I haven't filmed a video since September of 2019 for my bullet journal. So it's been a hot minute since I've sat down in front of a camera or phone or whatever. Um, but I was actually working on my 2020 uh, bullet journal today. Um, I don't know why I said 2020, like this year's bullet journal, my current one that I'm working on. And um, I was doodling something in it that I had previously doodled um, in my 2018 one. And I wanted to just to like look back and sometimes they do that. And when I did that, I had an idea that I would make a video of me going through my 2018 bullet journal. This is part one. I went with Navy that year. I just did two. And then I also like to keep my bullet journals like I have like part one part two um and then I just wrote the year I think it's kind of funny because when I first started I didn't really know what I was doing um my handwriting was awful um honestly it's not that great still I really have to try to make it look neat but that's fine um I did a key I don't think I ever used it. I don't know. Um, anyways, it's very basic. I don't think I used the key at all. I didn't have a theme going in either, I guess. I just kind of went with it. Yeah, I just kind of went with any color. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of did have a little color thing going on. Um, definitely interesting. This is all crooked, but we've definitely moved, uh, we've definitely got, gotten better. This was fun. I think I got this from, I want to say Amanda Rach Lee. I got this idea from, I'm not actually sure, but I had, I was in school when I first started doing, um, bullet journaling. So I had, uh, my, it was my semester too. And I guess I definitely did. I was tracking each month and like all my assignments that were due and then when they were done I would highlight them I do remember that and then I would or no I wouldn't highlight them when I was done them that's funny so each class had a different um, color assigned to it so this one's kind of cute actually I'm pretty proud of myself for that and I'm honestly so happy like this is so funny I had no idea how to use a brush pen or anything, so I would just fake it. So that's what happened there. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It's just like really funny. Um, but here we go. Here we go. And into the months of the year. Um, so my first ever theme for January, I literally just copied Amanda Rach Lee's for that year. I got, I made my mom take me to Michael's and buy the gold brush pen. That was the first, like the Tombow one. That was the only Tombow brush pen I'd use. Still didn't know how to use a brush pen, but it's fine. We went with it anyways. And yeah, so we did the fireworks. We went for it. We really did. Um, honestly, it looks pretty cute. I honestly, maybe I'll redo this in January because it's really freaking cute. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just go, maybe I'll do that. Cause, okay, this one's bad. I don't, I don't know. This one's just like, bam. I didn't, I don't know what I was thinking on that one. I didn't even use it. Clearly, I just did it, and then I was like, no. Ooh, I like this. Maybe I should do this coming up. Looking back and moving forward, and then I like wrote some things to myself. That's kind of fun. I seem very motivational back then. I don't think I do that in my bullet journal much. I just kind of write about life now uh, and what's going on. Um, February we went very basic. We just did some hearts. It's cute. It's fun. Yeah, we just did some hearts in February. Okay, yeah, that's fun. That's not bad. I'm honestly, like, pretty proud of it. My, uh, my fake, um, brush pen stuff happening there, too. I think I did that on, like, every page. Anyways, this one's cute. I really like, um, this one. I did, I, like, I had my days, but then at the end, I was, like, one thing that made me smile this week, one thing that I am grateful for, um, one thing that made me laugh, 
um, one thing that I accomplished, and one thing I love about myself. I like that. I should do more things like that in my bullet journal again because I kind of got lost, I think. Oh my gosh. March of 2018. This is so freaking cute. I just love this spread. That's so freaking cute. I had a lot going on that March. Wow. That's insane. Mood cacti. This was definitely copied off of like a Pinterest thing that I saw. And then my spending tracker. <laughs> um, so April, I did paper planes. I think that was also Amanda Ridgely. I very much just went off of what... See, I just was like not creative. I wasn't feeling the creative juice in myself in this year, I don't think. I was just like, this is fun. I don't know. I did a habit tracker. Fun. I don't really do those anymore. Um, I do and I don't. Sometimes I'm like, yes, I'm going to do a habit tracker. And sometimes I'm like, no, no. Apparently I had a daily routine, but I don't think I actually followed it. You know what? I have a daily routine now. Not a daily routine. Just like a morning routine that I actually follow now. But it's funny because I tried to get one for so long and then I would just never follow them and I would create them and then I would just never follow them but I actually like have one randomly now. Not on purpose, it just like happened and then I was like, oh my gosh, I do the same thing every morning. I'm so put together. Not actually though, I wish. Mm. Okay, May, we got some floral going on. That's fun. Honestly, the colors are a lot for me. I realized um, I really do like muted colors when I'm doing my bullet journal. I don't know why. I Sometimes I try to step out that comfort zone and then I'm like, I don't like it as much. So, yeah, I don't know. I really did try with this one. I was getting better. Moving on. We're moving on to June now because we're just flying through it. Not really. We're actually going pretty slow. But, okay. This is one of my all-time fa- not, I don't know. Like, my all-time favorites. Like, I have a lot of favorite spreads that I've done. But June of 2018, just, like, something about it. Okay, when you see it, people who know me are probably going to understand because I'm literally, like, I want to be a mermaid. And it's basically, like, mermaid vibes. So, but anyways, this is what it is. It was very under the water themed. Um, no, I did not draw a mermaid because I'm not that skilled. But I did go for a dolphin. I drew a dolphin. And that's fun. And this is just so cute. There's just little bubbles and everything. Also, I think I did get this idea off of Pinterest. Um, again, not really sure. This is fun. Little bubbles under the sea. Pumped about that one. That's so fun. This one too. Look at I drew a little jellyfish. Obviously, they don't have faces like that in real life, but they're cute. Also, crabs don't look this cute in real life. Sorry, not sorry. July, we did clouds. And I think... Again, this is also caught from Aranda, Aranda, Amanda actually, and yeah, we got some more clouds, and then we did the the spread with like this. Um, my habit tracker was like that. If you can't tell, it's very empty because I didn't actually do any of the things. Okay, so now we're into August, and this one was also um but uh, Amanda Reichley and honestly it's cute it's a fruit theme I love that I do actually like the colors in this one um even though I was talking about how I like the muted colors more I really do but like this one's just so fun you know um and then I did like a pen test at the end so that was the first half or more than the first half because we went to August so there's only four months left in the second half. So let's just do it. Let's get to it. Um, so for the second one, oh, I did 2018 continued. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Brainstorming my life plan and I, I wrote one thing with a question mark and that's it. So clearly the brainstorming didn't go well. 
my dreams and aspirations were a Kia Soul and that's about it. I don't know, again, don't know where I got the theme idea. It's pretty cute. You can't really tell if there's like a light blue color going on and it's cute. It's like light bulbs and this blue like theme. Um, pretty cute. Pretty cute. Ooh, September memories. I went mini golfing. I surprised my mom for her birthday. That was fun. I got to fly home um, and she didn't know that I was coming and like I was crying. She was crying. It was just so funny. She just like screamed so loud. Like I was like the neighbors were probably like what is happening? Like murder? But no, she was just so excited and that was a fun memory. I could tear up just thinking about it. In October, I copied this off of something I saw on Pinterest, and I'm honestly super proud of that. This, like, oh, and then we got my fall doodles. Oh my gosh, this hedgehog. I was really obsessed with doodling hedgehogs. Like, when I go to work, I would doodle them on, like, the whiteboard and stuff. And everyone was like, who drew this hedgehog? And I was like, not me. It's now into November. We got this cute little thing, mug. I don't know why I said thing. This cute little mug going on. Um, we definitely went hard with the trees and the green this month. I remember this. I think I got this. <laughs> I think I got this um, idea off of Pinterest or something. It's like one, one word a day. So you doodle one word a day. This one's really funny. On the 28th, all I have is, is not even really like a doodle. It just is like... I just wrote it in block letters. Dumb. Like, I was feeling dumb that day. Don't know why, what I did, but that's fun. Okay, next. So, we did a goodbye November. And a hello December this time. So, let's see. Um, very basic. But it, it is, tis the season. Um, this is actually what I was looking back at because I was trying to do some ornaments for something in my bullet journal and I knew I did this one year. I didn't finish filling out the mood tracker for that month. My gift giving tracker. My sleeps until Christmas. Apparently I filled this one out more than I filled my mood tracker out which I find very funny. Oh, I have my December budget and then I have have yourself a merry little Christmas. Thank you me. This one's cute. Have a holly jolly Christmas and a snow globe and then I got some lights going on for my weekly spread. My holiday favorite, eggnog lattes, true. And I literally just found out like within the last month that you can get decaf eggnog lattes. That's it. That's all there is. That's, that's the end of it. Sorry the lighting changed. It got darker outside because that's what happens. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I know it was a wild ride. Probably more fun for me than it is for anyone else because I got to revisit a lot of my memories from 2018 and see how far I came in my bullet journaling skills. But let me know if you did um, have a favorite theme from this um look through my 2018 bullet journal and also let me know if you want me to try and recreate any of these themes in my upcoming 2021 bullet journal because i definitely need to plan out my themes beforehand because otherwise i get too like stressed when it's like already the month and I'm like, I haven't picked a theme. So let me know. And yeah, maybe I'll make another video soon of my 2020 bullet journal flip through. So bye.